Science 9 Quarter 3 Topic El Nino and La Nina Objectives 1. Differentiate El Nino and La Nina Phenomena 2. Explain the effects of El Nino and La Nina on global climate. Introduction El Nino refers to the large-scale ocean atmosphere climate phenomenon linked to a periodic warming in sea surface temperatures across the central and east-central equatorial Pacific. El Nino originally referred to an annual warming of sea surface temperatures along the west coast of tropical South America. La Nina refers to the periodic cooling of ocean surface temperatures in the central and east-central equatorial Pacific. La Nina originally referred to an annual cooling of ocean waters off the west coast of Peru and Ecuador. What is El Nino? El Nino is a disruption of the ocean atmosphere system in the tropical Pacific having important consequences for weather around the globe. Among these consequences are increased rainfall across the southern tier of the U.S. and in Peru, which has caused destructive flooding, and drought in the West Pacific, sometimes associated with devastating brush fires in Australia. Observations of conditions in the tropical Pacific are considered essential for the prediction of short-term, a few months to one year, climate variations. El Niños have been documented since the early 1700s. More detailed observations from ships led to instrumental record-keeping in the earlier half of this century. It is only since the 1970s, however, that scientists began linking El Nino to massive flooding and severe droughts around the world. About every four to five years, a pool of cooler than normal water develops off South America. The effects of this cooler water are called La Nina. This usually brings colder winters to the Canadian West and Alaska and drier, warmer weather to the American Southeast. Brief history and the origin of El Nino terms for hundreds of years, the first available record dates 1567. South American fishermen have noticed the appearance of warm waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean along the coast of Ecuador and Peru. As the phenomenon typically becomes apparent around Christmas, the name El Nino, or the Christ Child was eventually bestowed. Noticing that as pressure rises in the east, there is typically an accompanying decrease in the west, with the reverse also true, he coined the term Southern Oscillation to categorize his find. Further study led to the realization that Asian monsoon seasons under certain barometric conditions were often linked to drought in Australia, Indonesia, India, and parts of Africa and mild winters in Western Canada. Not until the late 1960s did a Norwegian meteorologist, Jacob Bjerknes, a professor at the University of California, establish the connection between the changes in sea surface temperatures and the weak winds from the east and heavy rainfall that accompany low-pressure conditions. Ultimately, Bjerknes discovery led to the recognition that the warm waters of El Nino and the pressure variants of Walker's Southern Oscillation are interrelated, leading to the full naming of the phenomenon as El Nino Southern Oscillation, ENSO. Why El Nino occurs? El Nino is thought to occur due to changes in the normal patterns of trade wind circulation. Normally, these winds move westward carrying warm surface water to Indonesia and Australia and allowing cooler water to upwell along the South American coast. For reasons not yet fully understood, these trade winds can sometimes be reduced, or even reversed. This moves warmer waters toward the coast of South America and raises water temperatures. Warmer water causes heat and moisture to rise from the ocean off Ecuador and Peru, resulting in more frequent storms and torrential rainfall over these normally arid countries. Comparison of normal and El Nino conditions. What is La Nina? La Nina is characterized by unusually cold ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, compared to El Nino, which is characterized by unusually warm ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. Quick facts about La Nina The phrase La Nina is Spanish for the girl and sometimes called El Viejo, old man. It is characterized by unusually cold ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. In comparison, El Nino is characterized by unusually warm ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. La Ninas appear approximately every four to five years. They typically last one to two years. Global climate. Abnormalities of La Nina are less pronounced and in some areas tend to be the opposite of those associated with El Nino. However, the effects of La Nina are not always opposite to that of El Nino. After an El Nino, the climate does not always swing to a La Nina phase. There have been only 17 moderate to strong La Ninas compared to 25 moderate to strong El Nino since the turn of the century. La Nina is a natural phenomenon in the climate system and have been occurring for centuries. 
Detailed observations from ships led to systematic instrumental record keeping in the earlier half of this century. It is believed that La Nina's cooling of the equatorial Pacific tend to favor hurricane formation in the western Atlantic. In contrast, El Nino conditions tend to suppress the development of tropical storms and hurricanes in the Atlantic, but increase the number of tropical storms over the eastern and central Pacific Ocean. La Nina usually brings colder winters to the Canadian West and Alaska, and drier, warmer weather to the American Southeast. Brief history of La Nina terms La Nina meaning the little girl, names the appearance of cooler than normal waters in the eastern and central Pacific Ocean. Sometimes called El Viejo, Anti-El Nino, or simply a cold event, it is the antithesis of El Nino. At the turn of this century, a connection between La Nina, El Nino, and other weather patterns had yet to be established. During the 1920s, the head of the Indian Meteorological Service, Sir Gilbert Walker, recognized patterns to the rainfall in South America. His discovery led him to theorize additional associations with the change in the ocean temperatures, and with atmospheric pressure changes measured at stations at different parts of the Pacific, Darwin, Australia, and Tahiti. Noticing that as pressure rises in the east, there is typically an accompanying decrease in the west, with the reverse also true, he coined the term Southern Oscillation to categorize his find. Asterisk further study led to the realization that Asian monsoon seasons under certain barometric conditions were often linked to drought in Australia, Indonesia, India, and parts of Africa, and to mild winters in Western Canada. Not until the late 1960s did a Norwegian meteorologist, Jacob Bjerknes, a professor at the University of California, establish the connection between the changes in sea surface temperatures and the weak winds from the east and heavy rainfall that accompany low-pressure conditions. Ultimately, Bjerknes' discovery led to the recognition that the warm waters of El Nino, with the often cool waters of La Nina, and the pressure variants of Walker's southern oscillation are interrelated, leading to the full naming of the phenomenon as El Nino Southern Oscillation, ENSO. Why La Nina Occurs La Nina is thought to occur due to increases in the strength of the normal patterns of trade wind circulation. Under normal conditions, these winds move westward, carrying warm surface water to Indonesia and Australia and allowing cooler water to upwell along the South American coast. For reasons not yet fully understood, periodically these trade winds are strengthened, increasing the amount of cooler water toward the coast of South America and reducing water temperatures. Comparison of Normal and La Nina Conditions the increased amount of cooler water toward the coast of South America, causes increases in the deep cloud buildup toward Southeast Asia, resulting in wetter than normal conditions over Indonesia during the Northern Hemisphere winter. The changes in the tropical Pacific are accompanied by large modulations of the jet stream within the middle latitudes, shifting the point at which the stream normally crosses North America. The shifted jet stream contributes to large departures from the normal location and strength of storm paths. The overall changes in the atmosphere result in temperature and precipitation anomalies over North America which can persist for several months. El Nino and La Nina years El Nino, Spanish name for the male child, initially referred to a weak, warm current appearing annually around Christmas time along the coast of Ecuador and Peru and lasting only a few weeks to a month or more. Every three to seven years, an El Nino event may last for many months, having significant economic and atmospheric consequences worldwide. During the past 40 years, 10 of these major El Nino events have been recorded, the worst of which occurred in 1997-1998. Previous to this, the El Nino event in 1982-1983 was the strongest. Some of the El Nino events have persisted more than one year. In the tropical Pacific, trade winds generally drive the surface waters westward. The surface water becomes progressively warmer going westward because of its longer exposure to solar heating. El Nino is observed when the easterly trade winds weaken, allowing warmer waters of the western Pacific to migrate eastward and eventually reach the South American coast, shown in orange. The cool, nutrient-rich sea water normally found along the coast of Peru is replaced by warmer water depleted of nutrients, resulting in a dramatic reduction in marine fish and plant life. A warm current of water. In contrast to El Nino, La Nina, female child, refers to an anomaly of unusually cold sea surface temperatures found in the eastern tropical Pacific. La Nina occurs roughly half as often as El Nino, 
Today's El Nino and La Nina information El Nino events are the results from weakening easterly trade winds. The easterly trade winds are driven by a surface pressure pattern of higher pressure in the eastern Pacific and lower pressure in the west. When this pressure gradient weakens, so do the trade winds. The weakened trade winds allow warmer water from the western Pacific to surge eastward, so the sea level flattens out. North America China South America Australia this leads to a buildup of warm surface water and a sinking of the thermocline in the eastern Pacific. The deeper thermocline limits the amount of nutrient-rich deep water tapped by upwelling processes. These nutrients are vital for sustaining the large fish populations normally found in the region and any reduction in the supply of nutrients means a reduction in the fish population. Easterlies. Weak in west 2. Sea level drops in west, rises in east surface water surges east 3. Thermocline rises 3. Upwelling decreases thermocline. Convective clouds and heavy rains are fueled by increased buoyancy of the lower atmosphere resulting from heating by the warmer waters below. As the warmer water shifts eastward, so do the clouds and thunderstorms associated with it, resulting in dry conditions in Indonesia and Australia while more flood-like conditions exist in Peru and Ecuador. Easterly winds weaken Peru-Indonesia West Pacific. Ocean East. El Nino causes all sorts of unusual weather, sometimes bringing rain to coastal deserts of South America which never see rain during non-El Nino years. The flooding results in swarming mosquitoes and the spread of disease. Indonesia Tabatai West Pacific Ocean East. The air-sea interaction that occur during an El Nino event feed off of each other. As the pressure falls in the east and rises in the west, the surface pressure gradient is reduced and the trade winds weaken. This allows more warm surface water to flow eastward, which brings with it more rain, which leads to a further decrease of pressure in the east because the latent heat of condensation warms the air, and the cycle continues. What are typical global climate effects? Impacts on precipitation and temperature While typical impacts of both El Nino and La Nina can be readily recognized, it should be noted that these impacts do not necessarily occur with any given El Nino or La Nina episode. For example, Rainfall over southern Africa is often below normal concurrent with an El Nino, but during the 1997-98 event near average. Or even above average rainfall occurred over much of the region. Factors other than the state of tropical Pacific Ocean SSDs may influence regional climate variability, including internal atmospheric dynamics. SST in other ocean basins and land surface conditions. Therefore, Impacts noted below may not necessarily be caused directly by La Nina but appear consistent with the event. As La Nina conditions developed after mid-year, global rainfall patterns started to adjust, especially in the tropics. By October, global rainfall patterns consistent with the developing La Nina conditions were first observed in the far western Pacific and, as the cold episode developed, characteristic La Nina patterns were observed elsewhere. These included relatively wet conditions over much of Indonesia and parts of Australia and Southern Africa, and relatively dry conditions in southeastern South America, including parts of southern Brazil, Uruguay, northern Argentina, and much of eastern Africa. A classic feature of the transition from an El Nino pattern into a La Nina was seen in the global average surface temperature anomaly for 1998, which was the highest observed in the instrumental record despite maturing La Nina conditions during the latter half of the year. Although La Nina patterns are generally associated with colder-than-average surface land temperatures in the global tropics and subtropics over the full period of an event, these temperature conditions may not start to emerge until January, as was the case this year. This lag between the development of La Nina and the emergence of negative surface land temperature anomalies and teleconnections to higher latitudes is typical. Various impacts of El Nino and La Nina atmospheric consequences of El Nino influencing weather patterns worldwide, during an El Nino year, tropical rains usually centered over Indonesia shift eastward, influencing atmospheric wind patterns worldwide. Possible impacts include, a shifting of the jet stream, storm tracks and monsoons, producing unseasonable weather over many regions of the globe. During the El Nino event of 1982-1983, some of the abnormal weather patterns observed included, drought in southern Africa, southern India, Sri Lanka, Philippines, Indonesia, Australia, Southern Peru, Western Bolivia, Mexico, Central America heavy rain and flooding in Bolivia, Ecuador, Northern Peru, Cuba, U.S. Gulf States hurricanes in Tahiti, Hawaii. In the Philippines, 
several factors determine when El Nino arrives. This includes the delayed start of the rainy season, early termination of the rainy season, and weak monsoon and tropical cyclone activity such as fewer tropical cyclones entering the Philippine area of responsibility, PAR. What you should also know about El Nino is that it severely affects the agricultural sector and both water, food, and power supply in the country. It can bring massive drought to the country which is why early warning is always reported to help concerned sectors to prepare about this event. Other effects of this event are reduced rainfall, stronger typhoons, and high risk of forest and grass fires. On the other hand, La Nina is in the contrary. According to NASA, it is the buildup of cool waters in the equatorial eastern Pacific. Its effects are opposite to El Nino. Frequently, La Nina follows after El Nino. La Nina usually brings heavy rains that trigger floods and landslides, but it can also bring in benefits to the country such as the possibility to grow crops in mountainous areas and those areas that are unreachable by irrigation. These disastrous events of floods and landslides are brought by above normal rainfall, strong monsoon activity, and formation of more tropical cyclones. Another important thing that you should know is that the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and the U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration are the two agencies where the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, PAYGAZA, Weather Bureau gets information. Conclusion El Nino and La Nina are naturally occurring phenomena that result from interactions between the ocean surface and the atmosphere over the tropical Pacific. Changes in the ocean surface temperatures affect tropical rainfall patterns and atmospheric winds over the Pacific Ocean which in turn impact the ocean temperatures and currents. The El Nino and La Nina related patterns of tropical rainfall cause changes in the weather patterns around the globe. During an El Nino or La Nina, the changes in Pacific Ocean temperatures affect the patterns of tropical rainfall from Indonesia to the west coast of South America, a distance covering approximately one halfway around the world. These changes in tropical rainfall affect weather patterns throughout the world.